Okay guys, so today we're diving into an essential aspect of creating a user-friendly website, which is pagination. So if you've ever struggled with displaying a long list of posts or products on your WordPress site, you are in the right place. So in this video, we'll explore how to seamlessly add and style pagination in WordPress, ensuring your visitors can navigate your content with ease. Okay, so let's jump right in. Okay, so before we go into the nitty gritty, let's quickly cover what pagination is. So essentially, pagination breaks down your content into manageable chunks, making it much easier for users to navigate through your website's extensive list. So think about your blog post, product, or any content basically that's spread across multiple pages. So pagination ensures that your visitors won't be overwhelmed by a never ending scroll. So it's basically all about improving user experience. Now, to put things into perspective, let's say you're running an online fashion store. Now, without pagination, your visitors will have to scroll through hundreds of products, and this can become tedious and frustrating for your visitors. Now, by adding pagination, you're actually offering a seamless shopping experience, which can boost engagement and obviously conversion as well. Okay, so now let me show you how you can add pagination to your WordPress website. Okay, the first method is by editing your theme and adding a few lines of code. So let me show you how you can do so. So from within your WordPress dashboard, simply go to Tools, right here, Theme File Editor. There you go. So as you can see by the side, we're using the 2023 at the moment. So that's already built in, obviously, with this one. But the theme you might be using might not have it already. So let me show you what it looks like and which lines of code you should insert. So if you go to Templates here and then open the archive.html, you scroll down the page as you can see this section here this is all about pagination so as you can see this is the arrow left arrow right so this is basically the newer post all the post and then this is basically the whole sequence for pagination so this is the type of code you should insert now let me show you another variation right here and we will link the resources directly in the description as well so as you can see here you have the php the post pagination so this is basically the line you should insert to display them and this is the array that will define what has to be displayed. As you can see the format here, so page and then the page number, and then older and newer, and this is basically the result that will be displayed. So this is option number one. So option number two, you can go into Gutenberg and use a specific block that's called query loop. So let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna edit this one here. And from here, click the plus sign, and now we have the query loop. So basically you can look for it, okay? Just look for loop. That's the one here and then you can start blank and I can add a title and date, title and excerpt, title, excerpt and date or image date and title. So I'll select any of those. So let's say title and excerpt. And as you can see, automatically here, you will have your pagination added to your page. And finally, next, the easiest one of all is by adding a plugin. So for this, we go to plugins, add new and right there in the search box, look for pagination. Now, as you can see, there's so many of them. So how do you know which one to install on your website? Well, don't worry, we've handpicked five of them that will suit any case scenario. Okay, so let me show you now. Okay, so the first one is called alphabetic pagination. So it's a very comprehensive solution. As you can see, you can implement this anywhere in your blog post, your pages, archives, but also users can be listed alphabetically and member profile can be managed as well. So the only downside with this one is, as you can see, there's a pro version available, which means that the short call integration is not available with the basic plan. You have to get the pro version for this. And also the page permission settings are not available in the free version. So next we have the pagination styler for WooCommerce. So this is clearly only for WooCommerce. So this would be maybe a downside, but if you're running an e-commerce website and using WooCommerce as your main plugin, this is the one that you need. So if you scroll down the page, as you can see, it's a very comprehensive solution. You can customize your pagination for WooCommerce. Obviously you can customize the text that will be displayed as well. Then you can stylize literally everything on it, the colors and also where you will position it on your page horizontally, vertically, etc. And you can also customize the position of the next and previous button. So all together, a very lovely solution. The only cons, like I said, it's specifically for WooCommerce. 
So next we have pagination by best web soft. So this is a very comprehensive solution. And as you can see by the animation here, it's a very modern looking one as well. So slightly different from the other one. As you can see, this is a content splitter and navigation plugin. So it offers two features in one. So again, this is a very comprehensive solution that will apply to your homepage, blog posts, archives, and search results. Now, the only cons I can find with this one is that the custom CSS and custom PHP are only available with the pro version. And also, if you are using the DV theme, you will need the pro version as well. Apart from that, you can use it on any website and it will make your pagination super easy. So next we have WP Paginate. So this one has already over 30,000 plus active installation. And the reason why is because it's most likely the easier one to install and to configure. So what does it have? Well, it only has four different layouts, as you can see here, and you are limited as well by the, the amount of fonts that you can select. So basically, this is a basic, more simpler solution as well, which might be exactly what you're looking for. And the next one is WP Page Navi. So remember at the start of this video, I showed you the code we need to add into our theme for it to add the pagination. Now, this will actually help you to improve the look and the layout of your pagination. So as you can see here, it's telling you exactly using the 2020 theme, which lines of code you need to add. And now if you replace that line with this one here, WP Page Navi, then you'll have a lot more control over the outcome and what it looks like. Very good. So now that your pagination is up and running, let's make it visually appealing and seamlessly integrate into your website's design. Okay, so option number one, most pagination plugins like we just discovered allow you to apply custom CSS styles. So that means that you can match the pagination's appearance to your website's overall look and feel. Okay, so option number two, if you are concerned about theme updates affecting your custom styles, you can consider creating a child theme. So this way your changes remain intact even if the theme is updated. And finally, you can style the pagination buttons with various CSS properties like background color, font size, and hover effects. And this ensures they catch your visitor's attention. Okay, great job. Now your pagination is live and stylish, but we're not done yet. It's time to test and optimize. So for this, make sure that your pagination looks and works great on different devices. So make sure you test this on mobile phones, tablets, desktop PC, and also laptops. And also check if your pagination impacts your site's loading speed. Now, normally a well-optimized pagination plugin shouldn't slow things down, but it's always good to double check. And there you have it, a complete guide to adding and styling pagination in WordPress. So by breaking down your content and enhancing navigation, you're creating a user-friendly environment that keeps visitors exploring your site for longer. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more WordPress tips and tricks. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.